What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing arguably the best rain team for ranked regulation app. Now this team right here, obviously the heart and soul is centered around Archeludon, such a top tier Pokemon within regulation app, but has other Pokemon that really thrive out in the rain, such as Urshifu and Pelipper. Can't really go wrong with those two. Urshifu, Pelipper pair up together, they always have been, always will be for the rest of Scarlet and Violet ranked battles for Archeludon, brand new to the rain squad, and it is absolutely amazing with stamina and the assault vest to make it super, super bulky. It's got body slam, or not body slam, body press, heavy slam, electro shot, and dragon pull. Such a solid move set. You got some big time damage with electro shot, plus you can boost your special attack in the rain. You got heavy slam and dragon pulls. Cannot go wrong with that. Really cannot go wrong with that. A little bit of support Pokemon for this team is going to be Amoongus. Haven't been seeing it too much in Regulation F, but trust me, it is still top tier. With Regenerator and a Citrus Berry, helps it get back HP, and then a great move set of Spore, Rage Powder, Palm Pot, and Protect. Like I already mentioned, our third and fourth Pokemon are going to be Pelipper and Urshifu. You guys seen them plenty of times, they do absolute work in ranked battles. In our fifth slot, we got Bax Calibur, one of my favorite Generation 9 Pokemon with Thermal Exchange and a Clear Amulet. It's Rocket Glaive Rush, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard for first turn priority, and last but not least, Protect. In our final slot on this amazing rain team, we're rocking out with Flutterbee. I know, I know. You guys are surprised, right? Nah, Flutter Mains on every single team. You can't go wrong with it in Regulation F, so we're throwing it in here on this team as well. It's got Protosynthesis, Booster Energy, and then Moveset. I'm loving it with Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind for a little bit of speed control on today's team, and Protect for its final move. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match. First match is here, and we're going up against a Don Dozo and Tatsuki. Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, top tier combo within ranked battles, just super, super strong, and it's always a pain for me to actually go up against them. So Pokemon I want to bring is definitely going to be the bridge alongside with probably Pelipper, right? Get the rain starter early here. They could lead Pokemon like Grimmsnarl, they could lead Incineroar, probably to maybe set up screens or just get a little bit of fake out support, but from there, I could go into Urshfu. Urshfu can pretty much rip into every single Pokemon besides Don Dozo, so I need to figure out a way how to get rid of this Don Dozo, right? Maybe just start special or start boosting our special attack. Having that big time assault vest could be good. Stamina boost it. Always good, but it's gonna be tough. It's definitely gonna be tough here. But I'm gonna set the rain turn one. I feel like weather control is just gonna be massive. I can also start throwing out like weather balls, tailwinds, get some speed control for a squad. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go into Archer Ludon alongside with Pelipper, bring Urshfu, and then last but not least, probably more so Fluttermane here, right? Fluttermane's looking real good. Fluttermane's looking real good. Gonna be super effective onto the bird, onto the Grimmsnarl, onto the Latias, and onto the Tatsugiri. That's something we really like. So you know what? We're gonna go into them. Turn one. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. So looking to just get the Archeludon boosted up, maybe drop some Electro Shots. Hopefully they're not bringing in Dandoso and Tatsugiri. If that's the case, I feel like we can actually win this battle, no problem. But if they are, we're gonna struggle a little bit. We're gonna struggle. We're definitely gonna struggle. We'll see. Because even if my special attack gets boosted with Electro Shot, it won't even matter considering Don Dozo is unaware. It just doesn't care about my stat changes and it will outbulk a lot of different shots. It's it's just a powerful Pokemon. It really is. It really is. So we'll see. Actually, did I have Clear Smog on this Amoongus? Hold up. Let me let me check to see if I had Clear Smog on this Amoongus. Because I'd be so upset if I did and I just didn't bring it. But they go Incineroar. They end up going in with uh, Grimstar too. So probably Fake Out Screens is going to get going here. I don't mind that too much. They could start spirit breaking me, but please tell me. Actually, I can't even check here. Hopefully, I don't have clear smog on my boy. But from here, I could just go into a tailwind if I want to. I could just drop a nice little weather ball. Maybe just try to go after this and more. And that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I'm just going to start boosting my special attack here. Just start dropping electro shots. So he's going to end up faking out my Pelipper here. Are you going for a spirit break? No, you're going for a light stream. So light stream comes out in about. That's totally fine. Pelper is going to flinch. And I'm going to start boosting my special attack. So I'm going to bridge up. I'm going to Golden Gate bridge up. I'm going to absorb some electricity. Boost my special attack and just throw a nice big time electric loop in here. Imagine if this thing was Stab Electric. It would be insane. Actually, he is really good because of its typing. I just think everything works out perfectly for him. But from here, they set up a light screen. No big deal. I think I just drop a nice lovely weather ball here. And on top of that, I drop another electric shot. I'm just going to keep boosting my special attack. 
Might as well, right? The Thunder Wave flies out. You're going to grant a little bit of speed control here. And I could try to set up Tailwind next turn, but I think they might just go for a party shot here and swap out. So we set up our second Electro shot. We were just boosting our special attack here. Come on, man. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. And I'm going to do a little bit more damage this time. Actually, almost pick up KO. It's pretty good. Knockoff's going to come across here, and he's just going to keep attacking the Pelipper, which I don't mind. I'm going to knock off my Poker Sash. And I get off a big time Weather Ball. The Weather Ball flying, I could try to set up a Tailwind here now. The Weather Ball doing a crazy amount of damage. A big time amount of damage. But from here, I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind. That could be huge for us. And who should I take out? Rimsnarl? Or... Or Incineroar? I'm thinking of taking out Incineroar. Actually, I'm not too sure. Grimstarl or Incineroar? I'm going to actually just take it, get rid of Grimstarl. I don't really want to drop in special attack with Spirit Breaks, all the good stuff. And he's just going to Thunder Wave me. So I'm paralyzed. They have a little bit of speed control on my Pokemon, but I am boosting up my boy. Boy's getting boosted up here. Knockoff's going to come across. Pelper is going to be able to survive. So I'm going to pull off this Tailwind, which I just did. I get some speed back for the squad. The Tailwind out and about. I might want to swap Pelper next turn just to keep Rain. Rain's going to be massive for us. I might swap them next turn, depending on who they go into. So I'm now plus three on special attack. They're letting my Arch Luna just set up here. Like I said, if they don't have Don Dozo Tatsugiri, which I would think they do have, win for eight, an easy win here. We'll see, though. We shall see. We shall see. So I was going to come to the next Pokemon, and it is going to be the Catfish. The big time catfish. And do we even want rain? We kind of do, right? So I might just hard swap into like you. Because they're probably just going to double down. They might just go for like a surf or something. I definitely want rain. How many turns are left in rain? That's the real question. Two? Yeah, two turns. I definitely want to swap you. I'm going to go into Urshfu here. So I'm going to swap Pelper into Urshfu. And on top of that, I could 1000% see them swapping into. I could see them swapping into potentially Tatsu Gear here. So I'm just going to stick with my Electro Shots. Just keep dealing some damage. So I'll swap to Pelper. If we want Rain later, we can have it. Um, would be nice, especially with Urshifu paired up. And same thing with Archer Luna, still at full HP. And he's going to protect the Don Dozo. Okay, so protection of the Don Dozo might lead to a knockoff. Or maybe them trying to KO me. But I'm paralyzed anyway, so it don't even matter. So that's a good term for, the, for them to protect. He's going to take off my Choice Scarf, which actually isn't bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And from here, I can just go for an Aqua Jet. I could go for a Surgeon Strikes. I could U-turn out of here. And I think from here, we just want to actually close combat here. He's going to swap into Tatsugiri. He's going to swap into Tatsugiri. So I'm just looking to do as much damage as I possibly can. I could start critting in the rain. Like, how much damage is that going to do? Would that do more than close combat? Probably, right? Probably, right? So I'm going to stick with the crits. Because, yeah, there's a swap into Tatsugiri. He's just going to start attacking me. So he probably outspeeds both my Pokemon. On Dozo Tatsugiri. Big time problem. If I can just get rid of this Pokemon, we'll be thriving. I have some nice special attackers. I have a few good special attackers here. We'll see what what he wants to do here. So I have Tailwind boosted. Uh, Urshu might outspeed. Actually, probably does. Which is good, especially because Tailwind's up. And he's just going to Terrasalize. So this could be good because we're going into a Water Surgeon Strikes here. And let's see what they Terrasalize into. Straight Grass. Okay, so that's not good. That is not good. Not good at all. It's just the most perfect typing they can use. Most perfect typing. So Surgeon Strikes can come out here. Doing about 5 damage each hit. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Maybe we can get a Super Mega Crit and do some big time damage. But actually, that kind of adds up right there. It's actually a decent, decent shot right there. That's actually decent damage. So we crit up. He's just going to drop an order up here. And Arch Luna's able to soak pretty well. And get a stamina boost on top of that. Which is huge. Just getting bulkier, bulkier up against this Don Dozo. And he gets an attack boost. And of course, I'm paralyzed this turn. So lovely. Jeans is paralyzed this turn. Rain is going to end. Um, What do I do here? Do I swap? Do I start close combating? How much damage do we think close combat could do? Nothing crazy, right? Could just U-turn out of here. Yeah, I'm going to U-turn out of here, and on top of that, I'm just going to go for probably a Dragon Pulse, right? 
Yeah, let's just rock a Dragon Pulse. So we'll stick with the Dragon Pulse. We still have our Terror type, which is bad. And we're going to U-turn our Urshfu out here. So we'll save Urshfu for later. We know all the Pokemon they have. And this is just a solid first match, right? Don Dozo, being a pain as always. Come so U-turn out here. Doing not bad damage. Could be better. But I'm swapping back. And I might just set the rain again. But I set the rain to sacrifice the Pelper. Yes. Yes, and if Pelper's able to survive here, we can just drop a Hurricane next turn. Oh, I like that. So we get the rain back out here. He's gonna go for an order up, and he's just gonna just gonna take out this slot, which is no problem. It's no problem. No problem. So he's boosting his attack. He doesn't really want to boost my defensive stats. And hopefully I'm not paralyzed again and I can land this beautiful Dragon Pulse. Which we do. Awesome. The Dragon Pulse coming out of here. Wow, that unaware is just absurd. It really is. That unaware is just absurd. It's so absurd. It's so absurd. So Tailwind's gone. I can't boost your energy up, and I might send my Terra Fairy here. I might just send my Terra Fairy here and just start Moon Blasting in that slot. Yes. What's your uh, booster energy going to? It goes into speed, so we are going to be able to outspeed him. I think now's a perfect time to just do it, right? Terrastalize in the Fairy. Let's get off as much damage as we can, because I love my Pokemon that I have. I really do. Especially to, to burst their Tatsugiri and their Urshfu. I got that. I got, or not Urshfu, and their Incineroar. Like, one HP. But yeah, I'm going into this. I'm going to Terrasize. I'm going straight into a Moonblast. Stab. Attacking right after it. So we're going to do that. And we're just going to double down with Dragon Pulse. Yeah. Dragon Pulse coming out here. So we're doubling down with Dragon Pulse. Trying to get rid of this Pokemon. And I don't know how, if this thing can outbulk this shot. I think it can. It's going to be close, but the Dragon Pulse should be able to finish it off, which I'm really, really hoping. But more so, I'm hoping the Moon Blast could just KO, right? It's Stab. It's got the Terra Boost. Water main Special Attack's already through the roof. So we're looking just KO here. I don't know if we can. This thing's so bulky. Oh my lord, it soaked way too much. That's way more than I thought it would. So EQ comes out here, and is that going to double KO me? Oh my lord! Dantozo! Just being absurd. That's a game. That is game. Just being so absurd. Being so perfect. I don't really know what I could have done differently here. Maybe should have brought a different Pokemon. Maybe should have brought a Moongus, but still, this thing is just boosted. Insanely strong. So hard to KO. It really is. It's really almost impossible to KO. I wouldn't say it's possible. I just have a tough time playing up against them, but that's going to be the first match here. Only way I could potentially win this is like if I maybe crit here get rid of you but he's just he's gonna outspeed me he's gonna outspeed me and he's gonna pick up a KO with order up his attacks like plus four plus five. Oh my lord this thing is just a problem there's an EQ can you somehow soak no way you soak no you do so close combat crit doesn't even KO lovely just what I want can aqua jet KO no shot aqua jet KOs and even if it does KO they can just fake me out and Tatsugiri can and just like hit me hard. Yeah, no, that's the problem. I understand Light Scream was there the whole time, but still, that is just absurd. That is just absurd. I'm just gonna run this match. That is it. We're gonna hop into a second match. Look for our first victory. Moving on to our second match, and Don Dozo is just so bulky. Paired up with the Light Screen like our opponent had, that thing was just unstoppable. I thought I was gonna do more damage with my Flutter main and with my plus three Dragon Pulse, but still, he is unaware on top of that. But the Light Screen, just tremendous alongside with Don Dozo. But we're here in our second match looking for our first victory, going up against a pretty good team. They got Metagross, they got Incineroar, they got Dragonite, they're also rocking out with Water Absorb Ogre, who they're probably definitely bringing. That's something I have to watch out for. On top of that, they got Landers, and they also have Water. So who should I go into here? I kind of like Bax Caliber. I kind of like Pelipper. I definitely want to set up Rain because they have no way of weather control. So I'm going to lead Pelipper turn one. And on top of that, who should I lead with it? It could be Archaludon. And Archaludon probably the best bet here, right? They can fake me out. They could do a good bit. But on top of that, I have really good Terror types. I have really good moves to kind of set up this Pokemon. So I'm going to end up doing that. So I'm going to do that bring in Urshfu in the back end. And last but not least, I kind of like Baxcalibur. I think Baxcalibur is going to be great. They got a few Dragon-type Pokemon. Oh, yeah. We're all about it. We can hit him with the Ice moves. We're chilling with this. I like this a lot. So, I'm locking it in. I'm locking it down. Plus, I really want to use Baxcalibur. Love this Pokemon so much. One of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. When Scarlet and Violet came out and I seen that Pokemon, I was like, that Pokemon's on my team. 
So, I just like it so much. I love its design. I love its design and its typing. But let's see who these guys end up leading. Thank God it's not down those with Tatsuki. You know, it's such a problem. They end up going Fluttermane alongside with Ogre Pond, which I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. So I could tail one here. I could end up Wide Garden too if they want to go for Dash and Gleam. Um, huh. I think I'm just gonna Hurricane. I think I'm just gonna Hurricane here, and on top of that, I could go for Heavy Slam. But I kind of really want to just set this up, the selection shot. Because if they follow me here, which most likely is a possibility, we can get off some big time damage. If they protect, they protect, but I like this. I like this. Let's see what they end up doing. We're just going to witch all the fun of me. No big deal. Unless it's Lando. Unless it's Lando. I think it's Lando. It is Lando. So that's a great swap. It's a beautiful swap. Horn Leech going to come through here and just be able to soak, uh, uh, do some damage. Maybe. But Hurricane's going to land, which is beautiful. Do some nice damage. Just KO the Ogre Pot. That's massive. That is massive, getting rid of the Water Absorb Pokemon. It's just huge. Now, do I still get a special attack boost from this? Because I would really like it. I believe I do. It would just avoid the attack. So, yeah, I'm going to get the special attack boost. It's pretty much just like we set up our special attack. And we'll roll out from there. I'll take the special attack boost all day. I'll take it all day. So, now they have a hot chance of going for Sandseer Storm, which is a scary move up against me. They bring back out Fluttermane, and this is a perfect time... For me to just say, hey, yo, I'm going grass typing. Actually, why don't I just wide guard these shots? And then just go for a heavy slam. In the flutter move. Yeah, because chances are you're going for a sand seer storm, I would think. And then maybe a dash of lean. Yeah, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So I'm going to wide guard up. No double, no double moves allowed. They're not allowed to come in here. We're not having to happen. There's the dash and gleam. Show me Sandseer Storm as well. Show me that double down. Show me that double down with double moves. Come on, man. I know you're doubling down with double moves. I know you're doing it. I know you're doing it. No, you're just Earth Power. So we might die to that. Hurts so I should have Terrasalized. I should have Terrasalized. Really hurts. Really, really hurts. That really hurts. Okay, but I can go into Urshfu here with Choice Scarf. Massive. Choice Scarf, Urshfu coming out here. Um, Who do we KO? Fluttermane? Yeah, probably, right? I think we go after Fluttermane. Because who could they have? In the back end, Dragonite's a possibility? No, I'm just going to go for Weather Ball here. And on top of this... Hmm. Let's try to set up a Tailwind. I'm just going to try to set up a Tailwind for speed. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for Surgeon Strikes here. Finish off you. They might withdraw the Lando, right? No, they withdraw Fluttermane. Wow. What's wrong with the Flutter Man? Been going crazy. And they're going to throw out their final Pokemon, which is Dragonite. So perfect. So perfect. Surgeon Strike's going to fly here. Doing literally no damage. Unless that thing is multi scaled. And it's not. It's just inner focus, just soaking these shots up with a good typing. So we're doing that. And from here, what do, where are they going to go into from here? Because now they have E Speed to get, get air for me. I'm just going to sludge by my Pelper, which is no problem. Because now I get my boy at full HP. I get to bring out Baxcalibur. Now, Baxcalibur, hmm. I want to Terrasalize Baxcalibur. I might just Surgeon Strike. I'm, I'm just going to Ice Shard you. And Surgeon Strikes you, right? Yeah, I think that's my best bet. We're going to swap it up because chances are they're going to they're gonna, uh, Terrasalize the Lando. But if they Terrasalize the Lando, that could be pretty good for us. If they Terrasalize Lando, then we should be sitting here fine, because Ice Shard would then KO the Dragonite, and Surgeon Strikes should be able to KO Lando no problem. Because if Lando's Terrasalized, it's going to be Poison Terror type. So we'll see right here. Hopefully it's the Lando, not the Dragonite. And it is the Lando. So good call for us to actually swap the moves here, and uh, try to pick up this double KO. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So he's going to go into that Poison Terror type. I don't really mind that too much. Ice Shard's going to fly. It should pick up the KO no problem on Dragonite. Backs Caliber. Out and about. Loving it. And then Surgeon Strikes now should outspeak because we're Choice Scarf. And it should finish off this guy, no problem. Big time damage coming in hot here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three of those all day. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So great call for us. A little swappage of moves, and they just turn off their console. Get them on out of here. They don't deserve to be playing. Turn off their console like that. GG's 2-1 for today's video. Not 2-1. 1-1. Let's go hop into our third and final battle. Look for that 2-1 record. 
So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are one and one on the rank ladder with this amazing rain team. Only Don is getting the best of us today. Hopefully. Hopping into our third and final match, we're going up against Raging Bolt. Now, Raging Bolt's going to be annoying with that first turn priority electric move. Going to be super effective onto my brain squad, my Pelper, and my Urshfu. But a really good Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane can absolutely rip up into that, into the Urshfu, into the Golden Gold with Shadow Ball. And it can also do some nice damage with Icy Wind and Speed Control onto Tornadus and Amoeba. So Fluttermane, I definitely want to bring I definitely want to bring But Rain could be just an easy lead for us, right? I'm going to go Archaludon again. I really like Archaludon as lead. I think it's very, very strong, especially paired up with the Rain Pelipper. You can easily boost special attack. Really just get going from there. So I think it's a solid lead for us. I think this is a really good lead for us. So Pelipper going in with Archaludon. <clears throat> then in the back end, like I already mentioned, we want Fluttermane. Last but not least, do we go Urshifu? Or do we go in with Baxcalibur? I like Baxcalibur. It's just such a fun Pokemon to use. But do I do that or do I just go in with Urshifu? I think Baxcalibur would be a little bit better considering they're probably thinking, hey, this guy's bringing Urshifu. Let me bring Raging Bolt. Let me bring Amoongus. Let me bring Urshifu of my own. So I really do think Baxcalibur could actually be more useful than Urshifu. We'll see. We'll see. We're giving it a try. But Archaludon, obviously going to be our lead so good in Regulation F. Just been dominating. Plus, it was a, a good lead for us in actually both matches. First match, we had that thing boosted like crazy. If they had any other Pokemon besides Dantozo, we would have ripped up into it next turn with a big time plus three Dragon Pulse. But hey, Dantozo's got that underwear. But they're going to end up leading these two Pokemon. I don't, I don't mind it. They can fake me out if they want to. <clears throat> they could, uh, I don't know, set up a nasty plot. That's definitely an option here as well. That is definitely an option to set up a nasty plot. So he's going to get the attack drop. Um... I do have Wide Guard ready to go, so I'm just going to actually Weather Ball Golden Go, because he's kind of posing more of a threat to me right now. And I'm just going to start boosting my special attack by doubling down on the Golden Go here. I just want to actually do some damage to Golden Go. If he fakes out my Pelipper, he can fake out my Pelipper. I just don't really want this thing setting up a uh, Nasty Pot, right? Nasty Pot's looking scary. No, he's just going for Shadow Ball. So I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that, because I have a Soul Vest. Now I get that Stamina Boost. And I'll get a free plus one special attack boost. Electro shot. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. So let's see how much damage it does. Probably around half, I would say. Probably around half. I'd be surprised if it does anything more. Yeah, around around half. A little, just a tad bit more, but nothing crazy. This thing's gonna leftovers up, so he might just protect this turn. So is now the turn where I set up a tailwind? I could set up a Tailwind if I want to. I like the speed of my Pokemon, though. But you know what? I am going to end up setting up a Tailwind. So I'll Tailwind up here, and on top of that, Boldigo might protect. Or even swap. So I'm just going to Body Press in the world with that Stamina Plus 1 boost. Now we're just going to rip a Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball going to come out here. No big deal. And Tailwind's going to come out and about. So now my Archer Luna should outspeed this in Sinwar. And hopefully this Body Press Plus 1 defense could KO. Nope. Not even close. Not even half. Not even half, so knockoff's gonna come out here. Just pick up the KO on the Pelipper. Not bad. I don't mind those turns. Especially after we get off the Tailwind. Pelipper's fine going down. Pelipper is fine going down. But now I get to bring out either Baxcalibur or Flutterman. And actually, this is where I wish I had uh, Urshifu. <laughs> I really wish I had Urshifu here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go Fluttermane here. Or do I go Baxi? Baxi's not bad with the Glade Rush. But like parting shot and stuff like that could be a problem. I'm gonna save my flutter main. I'm gonna go into Baxi Hopper here. So Baxi Hopper's gonna come out here. I can glaive rush to any of these guys. Um Electro Shot probably KOs that that golden go now. So actually I'm just gonna go for a glaive rush KO here. I'm gonna look to KO this in Sinor. And I'm just gonna go for Electro Shot just to boost my special attack again and pick up KO onto this uh this golden go. So it ends up withdrawing in Cinnamon. We're hopefully going to somebody who's not going to take this Glade Rush too kindly, right? It's going to be a movie. So this actually should still do a decent amount of damage. He's going to protect it. Okay, not bad. It's not too bad. Glade Rush flying. How much damage is this doing? Nice. That's big time damage onto him. Rocky Helm is going to do a little bit onto us. We are still going to get the special attack boost though for Archer Luton. That's actually really good for us. So I can't use Glaive Rush again, which sucks, because I would love to just dump on Amoogus, because I think Amoogus might Terrasilize. 
but we'll see how this one plays out here. The Rage Powder actually could work out good. I do have a... Don't I have Grass Tower on Archer Ludon? That might be my play. Don't I have Grass Tower on you? I do. I'm going to actually Grass Terrasilize just to dodge the Rage Powder. That's going to be my best bet. And we'll go for an Icicle Crash if anything. So I'll Icicle Crash. And on top of that, I'm going to Terrasilize and just Dragon Pulse. Or not even Dragon Pulse. I'm just going to rip another Electro Shot. Right to you. Just to finish you off. Let's make sure I Terrasilize first. Because sometimes I do that and then I cancel out my Terrasilization. But he ends up just withdrawing Golden Go. Just withdrawing Golden Go like that. Who are you going to go into? You're going to go into Incineroar. So he wants to intimidate me, which is no big deal. I got clear Amulet. And I'm ready to drop a plus three. You're going to double swap. Okay, so double swap coming out here. It's a little odd. A little double swap. And you're going to go into... That's fine. Water Urshfu. Okay. I don't mind that too much. I am terrified of this... Uh, of this Earth shoot. But I do have Fluttermate in the back end who's going to be good. And I have a great Terror type that just came out perfectly. So I got the, I've put on the Grass Terror type. Which isn't really going to help me this turn. But last or these next turns it will definitely help me out with. But it's still Crash going to chuck up some nice damage. Electro Shot going to come through onto the Incineroar. Probably KOs, right? Plus three. Plus three Archer Ludon. I know it's not Stab. Plus three is insane. Plus three is absurd. So Electro Shot coming in hot here again. Later, Incineroar, get it on out of here. So Incineroar gets no value out of that turn. Intimidate does nothing. I'm special attacker on Archer Ludon, and I clear Amulet clutching up. So Tailwind should be gone, I think, this turn, or maybe we have one more turn. I hope we have one more turn. And they're going to throw back out Golden Go, who might just protect here. Who honestly might just protect. But I have Tailwind up for our last turn, and I might just Electro Shot Urshifu, right? I might just Electro Shot Urshifu, or I could just go Blade Brush. Because you're protecting. I know you're protecting. I know he's protecting. Let me actually see speed stats here. You are 113, you're 121, so you're out speeding for a little bit. Um, huh. I might just protect you, Excalibur. Actually, no, because if he's attacking me. I'm just going to Glade Rush that, and let's just Electro Shot. I think Golden Go is going to protect here. Urshfu might terrestrialize. Oh, he's detecting. Okay, so good thing we did go after Golden Go last second. Or you could be double protecting. Yeah, they want to drop out these uh, Tailwind turns. The Tailwind's going to be gone. That's no big deal. That is no big deal. And is now a good turn for me to swap? I mean, now plus four. <laughs> now plus four on special attack. Now I'm plus four on special attack. Uh, they could double down into me, which is getting a little scary. But if they do end up using like certain strikes, I will just get a defense boost. What is my play here? So rain's gone though. Rain's gone, so no more electro shots for us. No more electro shots. So honestly, I don't even know what we should do here. Glade Rush isn't bad. Hmm. I think we just try to do as much damage as we can to Golden Go. And then we just try to Dragon Pulse this slot. That's going to be my play. We don't have Rain anymore, so Electro Shot's going to take two turns. He's going to end up dropping a close combat and just bopping out our Backscalibur. So Backscalibur, dead. He's gone. Uh, we will be able to take out uh, Urshifu, no problem. So we'll take that trade all day, unless you're sashed. Unless you're focused, Ash. Make your Rain going to come out hot here. No big deal for us. We soaked that all day. He's going to go minus one on special attack. That's going to help us out, especially if we pick up a KO here. Can we pick up KO here? This will be a big time KO for us. Oh, we already did some damage. Okay, so see you later. The Urshfu, gone. So that's big time KO because now Golden Go can't swap. Golden Go is not allowed to swap, and it's minus one on special attack. They still have Terror, though, which is kind of scaring me. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. I'm just going to go into Fluttermane here. This is a close matchup here. A real close matchup. And you're going to end up coming out here. Oh, you little booger. You little booger. You little booger. Now, the thing is, do I Icy Wind? If I Icy Wind, will that actually make... I might Icy Wind here. I might just Icy Wind. The reason I might Icy Wind is to slow down this Golden Go. And if I can slow down this gold, you know, actually you have good as gold, don't you? Is that 
No, 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 no. We can still icy one you. That's cool. You just can't get like stat or uh, status changes. I can icy win this thing, slow it down, and then have this thing go. But the question is, is Dragon Pulse going to pick up KO? It has a hot shot at probably doing so. Is your plus four? I'm going to take that risk. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Dragon Pulse because you could Rage Powder my shots here. Or you could Terrastalize. But I doubt you have Fairy Terror. Let's see what they end up doing. It ends up just protecting Gold again. What, what are you doing here? Putting my Fluttermane to sleep, maybe? You, you are putting my Fluttermane to sleep. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Icy Wind coming out. You're doing some damage, but you are totally putting me to sleep. You are totally putting me to sleep. We are in some trouble. We are in some trouble. Spore coming out here. Oh, no. <laughs> we are in some trouble. All right. So Arch Ludon sitting here. They're probably not going to go for a Rage Powder here. We're just going to keep... We're just going to have to attack this Golden Go, right? And maybe hope that we can survive this. I'm just going to stick with that. I'm going to go into another Dragon Pulse here. And look to just land this onto the slot. Because he's probably going for Make It Rain here. Rage Powder's going to come out here. It does absolutely nothing, which is massive. And let's see what Golden Go is going to go for here. Shadow Ball or Make It Rain? Got a nasty plot up. Hold up. That might give us a shot here. That gives me a shot to attack this thing. Plus four. How much damage are we doing here? Ho oh, ho. You lucky biscuit. You are so lucky. You are so lucky. Absurdly lucky. So, Flutterman, can you wake up? Can you get a little wake up time here? Because I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do the same thing. Fluttermane does wake up. That might just want us to match here. Because Icy Wind gonna slow down Golden Go. Gonna slow down the Golden Go. And now Arch Luna should be able to outspeed, right? Arch Luna should be able to outspeed, so that might be a clutch wake up there. And take out the Golden Go. Because Rage Powder is not affecting us. Let's go. Let's go. Big time wake up from Fluttermane. I never have a one turn sleep. And that's the second opponent. We may turn off their console. Like I said, using one of the best rain teams in regulation F, we go 2-1 and, and grab ourselves a winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. Ended up losing our first match, but making it back to you guys by winning our second and third match. Not just winning them, making our opponents turn off their console and just quitting the game. So that's actually hilarious. Actually, really, really fun. We got to use Arch Luton to its fullest potential, pairing it up with Pelper, and we actually got to rock out with Back Caliber, which I was more excited to use than Arch Luton. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.